Hello students. Today's topic of discussion is class C chopper. Class C chopper is also known as two quadrant chopper. It can operate in first as well as second quadrant. Means the power can either flow from source to load or load to source. We know that class A chopper operates in first quadrant and class B chopper operates in second quadrant. Therefore, class C chopper is obtained by the parallel connection of class A and class B chopper. The figure shows the circuit diagram of class C chopper. From the circuit diagram, it is clear that the chopper CH1 and the freewheeling diode FD and the load, this one, this portion, CH1, freewheeling diode and load are forming class A chopper. Whereas diode D, chopper CH2 and the load are forming class B chopper. Both these choppers are connected in parallel. To obtain first quadrant operation, we should switch on chopper 1, CH1. And for getting second quadrant operation, we should switch on chopper 2. So consider first case. Case 1 is when chopper 1 is on or off. When chopper CH1 is switched on, it is clear that the diode D and freewheeling diode are reverse biased and CH2 is in the off condition. Therefore, the source voltage Vs directly gets connected to the load. Hence, the output voltage V0 is equal to the source voltage Vs. When CH1 is on, the output voltage is equal to the supply voltage Vs. Also, the direction of current is from source to the load. And the output current is positive, which gradually increases in the positive direction. When CH1 is off, the freewheeling diode FD comes into the circuit as it gets forward biased by the voltage induced in the inductor L. And it acts as short circuit. Therefore, the output voltage V0 is equal to 0. However, the output current I0 continues to flow through the freewheeling diode and inductor in the same direction. Therefore, the energy stored in the inductor is released and the I0 decreases gradually. From the first case, it is clear that the output voltage V0 and the output current I0 are positive and hence the operation of chopper is in the first quadrant. So this is the class A mode of operation. Consider case 2. Case 2. When CH2 is on or off. When the chopper CH2 is switched on during this interval, it acts as short circuit and the output voltage V0 is equal to 0. But due to the presence of load DC source, it drives the current through 
inductor L CH2 and to the load. The direction of current flow I0 is negative. Therefore, the output current I0 increases in the negative direction when CH2 is on. And the output voltage V0 is 0. Consider the case when CH2 is in the off state. When CH2 is off, the diode D gets forward biased and hence the current flows from load to the source. Therefore, the load is connected to the source through the diode D. Therefore, the output voltage V0 is equal to Vs during this interval and the load current I0 decreases gradually. Therefore, when the CH2 is in the on state or off state, the output current I0 is always negative and the output voltage V0 is positive. Therefore, the operation of chopper is in the second quadrant. So, this is the class B mode of operation. So, we can conclude that the output voltage V0 is 0 when the chopper CH2 is on or freewheeling diode FD conducts this interval. And the output voltage V0 is equal to the source voltage Vs when the chopper CH1 is on or diode D conducts. Also the load current I0 is positive when CH1 is on and the freewheeling diode conducts. And the load current is negative when the chopper CH2 is on or diode D conducts. Therefore, the output voltage is always positive and the output current may be positive or negative. Hence the name two quadrant chopper. Thank you.